What I want to highlight in this video is that knowing the log laws and keeping an eye out for them can really help you save time. So we want to find the coordinates of the stationary point of y is equal to log of e to the x over x plus 2. Now this looks absolutely horrendous because we know that we're going to need to differentiate this. Now in order to differentiate that you've got really two methods. The first method is going to be absolutely horrible and messy because it's going to incorporate using the chain rule and the quotient rule and I probably wouldn't advise it. The second method the preferred method is to really spot that there is a log law that you can employ here. So I'm going to rewrite y as log of e to the x take away log of x plus 2. Because you have log of a over b, this is log of a minus log of b using the log laws. So here we have log of e to the x. Now that's just x. So y is equal to x take away log of x plus 2. Now this is a lot easier to differentiate. So dy by dx will be 1 take away. Now the derivative of log of x plus 2. We learned a very neat trick earlier where we had log of f of x differentiates to f prime over f. So the derivative of x plus 2 is 1, and so that's on the numerator, and the x plus 2 is in the denominator. So that can be easily differentiated. Now, in order to work with this, I'm going to combine the 1 and the 1 over x plus 2 into a single fraction. For that to happen, I'm going to have to have a common denominator. So I'm going to write 1 as x plus 2 over x plus 2. So now, I have x plus 2 as the denominator, and I've got x plus 2 take away 1, which is just x plus 1. So this is dy by dx. Now stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So that would mean that x plus 1 over x plus 2 would have to be 0. Now the only way that a fraction is going to be 0 is if the numerator is 0. So that means that x plus 1 would have to be 0. And so x would have to be minus 1. So that's given me the x coordinate of the stationary point. So now all I need to do is substitute minus 1 in to y equals to give me the y coordinate. So y is equal to log of e to the minus 1 over minus 1 plus 2. Now minus 1 plus 2 is just 1, so this is log of e to the minus 1, and log of e to the minus 1 is just minus 1. And so the coordinates of the stationary point is, is minus 1 for x and minus 1 for y. So minus 1, minus 1. And that is the process. As you can see, it, it's, there's quite a few skills going on here. Using the log law there sped up the process considerably. But you might want to try using quotient rule and chain law in order to differentiate that at the long-winded way.